Welcome back to my acne series. I'm board certified dermatologist Angelo Landrusina. Today, we're going over one of the mainstays of acne treatment, and that's topical retinoids. These are drugs like tretinoin, tazarotene, adapalene. Today, I'll be going over what they are, what they do in the skin, and how they help to treat acne, as well as the side effect profile. As always, this series is a deep dive on everything acne, so make sure you're following along if you want to see more. And I'll provide you with two different review articles to read if you want any more in-depth information. First off, what are retinoids? They are derivatives of vitamin A. Vitamin A is known as retinol, which you may have heard of in skincare. Retinoids are molecules that are in some way similar to retinol, or they are in the retinol pathway somewhere. What retinoids do at like a very like micro scale level is they enter the cell once applied. Within the cytosol of the cell out here, there are retinoid receptors. So those retinoids will bind to those soluble receptors, which then go into the nucleus. This is where our DNA is kept. And it's going to alter gene transcription. So essentially, it changes the proteins that are being made by the cell. If we look at the more macro scale of the pilosebaceous unit, so this is where acne actually happens, Firstly, it's going to act on these keratinocytes, which are the skin cells that line this pilosebaceous unit. It's going to reduce their proliferation and make them more differentiated. And what that means is basically there's going to be less of them shed into this pore to become pore blockages. Secondly, it's going to reduce inflammation in several different ways. That includes downregulation of toll-like receptor 2, downregulation of the AP1 pathway, and less leukocyte migration. The results that we see at the, the high end actual skin level are going to be less pore blockages and basically less acne lesions over time. We can also see other helpful effects for the skin in people with acne, including decreases in post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. These are dark spots that are caused by pimples, but may last a lot longer than those pimples themselves. Retinoids do this primarily by blocking melanosome transfer, so essentially stopping the migration of the packages of melanin pigment from cell to cell. It's also been shown that retinoids can treat and prevent actual acne scarring. I'm not talking about dark spots, I'm talking about actual pitted scars. Um, there's one study of adapalene actually improving pitted scarring in acne, and it's been shown that retinoids can downregulate something called matrix metalloproteases, and those are enzymes that break down the extracellular matrix and can contribute to acne scarring. It's also been shown on the whole that retinoids have a dose-dependent effect, meaning that higher concentrations are generally going to be more effective. However, irritation of the skin is the number one risk of these medications. It's been shown that sensitive skin or a history of skin irritation that's reported by the patient is the number one predictor that they're going to have irritation from retinoids. This irritation in clinical trials typically peaked around one to two weeks, and it's thought to happen because of actual reorganization of the skin cells on the skin when being treated by this retinoid. Like I said, it makes those skin cells differentiate more, so there is a process before we get there, and that could lead to disadhesion, skin flaking, and barrier impairment. There are going to be different parameters that impact how irritating a retinoid may be. Overall, it seems that adapalene is probably the least sensitizing of the retinoids. However, the vehicle in which the retinoid comes also seems to have some sort of a bearing on how tolerable it is. Generally speaking, retinoids are like a mainstay of acne treatment. They're usually the cornerstone of any acne treatment plan. However, speaking from experience, they're usually combined with other modalities to get the best results. What questions do you have about topical retinoids? Let me know in the comments.